the waterfront bird watching bamboo pavilion has been located in the southernmost tip of Guangzhou Nansha Bird Park. The bamboo pavilion is inspired by the murmuration of birds, which resemble the translation of departure and landing of a bird in accordance to the theme of protection. This encourages the sense of belonging and devotedness of birds to accumulate the cohesion in a group. Rising above the lake of the most habitable environment, the Bamboo Pavilion offers an iconic landmark which acts as the gathering point of all birds, providing the opportunity to communicate, intimate, and to breed. This project is aimed to act as a platform that encourages the interaction between human, wildlife, and the environment. Various plantations such as deciduous trees have been planted in the surrounding of the bamboo pavilion which provide essential shelter for birds, especially during the winter season. On the other hand, the woven weaving free from surface with dispersion from less dense to dense as it narrows down resemble the gathering of birds from various destinations to the homeland. The partially enclosed bamboo pavilion encourages the sense of protection that allows all birds to land safely and freely. A natural material bench has been designed in the interior of the bamboo pavilion to encourage a longer period of interaction between human, wildlife, and the environment. Furthermore, the geometry and algorithmically parametric system has been used to tackle the bamboo irregularities and challenges. Hence, the freeform surface has been analyzed and defined which pursue eccentric and sometimes intricate of the overall structure. Next, various bamboo joinery's methods have been used. The diagonal lacing joint has been analyzed and used in the connection between the facade and truss, beam and truss, column and beam, and the column to footing and slab. Small pieces of bamboo and a minimum number of nails have been used to strengthen the connectivity and stability of the bamboo pavilion. A metal anchor has been located in between of the bamboo and footing in order to avoid direct contact of bamboo towards the ground which may cause reduction in material longevity that leads to failure. Lightning has been applied onto the bamboo pavilion where the less dense part with the minimum amount of light resembles the return of flying birds meanwhile the denser part of the facade with the maximum amount of lighting resembles the gathering point of all birds that provide warmness and attachment to each other, namely the homeland.